everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to paint a mermaid in silhouette. Um, behind her is going to be a beautiful sunset on the beach. It's going to be a really simple step by step for you guys today. Uh, 11 by 14 canvas. You can paint this on any size canvas that you want. And let's go over some of the colors we're using. We've got cadmium yellow, light cool. We've got neon red and titanium white. Use, of course, any yellow, red, or white that you have if you don't have these specific ones. And let's get started. You're gonna need a large brush to work the background with. And I'm using this number 50 filbert brush. Anything smaller or a little bit bigger will be just fine. And I'm gonna start with my red. And I'm gonna come in with the bottom area here where I'm going to have my horizon. So we're going to have this deep, beautiful, intense red and yellow right on the horizon and then on the, the seashore here where she's laying down, we'll reflect those colors as well because it's the sand, the beach is wet, so it's kind of reflecting that. And we'll just add a little bit up here as well. I'm going to quickly go right into my yellow, a little bit of white. I'm not going to wash my brush out. And I'm going to add some streaks down here. Turn my brush the other way so I can make some skinnier ones and just pull and then just a little bit of haziness around where we're going to have the brightest part our sun oh i want to mention that the canvas i'm working on today is light gray i've been painting on a lot of light gray lately um so that's the underpainting you can do this on a black canvas too or white canvas so I'm just going to very lightly with a white pull and flick. Now I'm going to come in with my sun and I'm going to use quite a bit of white with a little bit of that yellow on there. And I'm going to go up and over. And a nice big arch like this, half circle. We'll go right along the bottom and we'll paint it in. Take some more white, a little bit of yellow. Mermaid paintings are one of my top requests that I get. I've only got one right now, one or two. A little bit more white right in here. I know this is going to dry a little bit darker. I want to make sure that it's going to be nice and bright. I'm going to wash all that paint on my brush. switch over to a little filbert where I'm just going to tidy this up a little bit and make this a little bit hazy around the edge. We're going to have some clouds that come in here and for the clouds we'll be using a little bit of blue, maybe a little bit of black and um, I'm going to dry this off completely first before we add those clouds and then I'm going to add another layer of white. Okay, for the clouds I'm going to be using this filbert brush again. It's just a small number eight and I've got cobalt blue and a little bit of black and I'm going to start with coming in with some clouds, some darker clouds for some more contrast. I'm going to take my blue, red, and black and a little bit of white. So we've got this sort of a 
smoky purpley plum color. It's going to dry darker than this, so just keep that in mind. And I'm going to start adding the horizon right down here. Sort of streaky like. And we're going to have some clouds down here. So what I like to do is kind of come in from the side where I'm working with little clouds and just make all sorts of little, little bumpy lumps like this. Okay, I'm going to come make some more of that color, all three colors, plus a little bit of white. And I like to make this smoky purple color because it looks quite nice with the purple and the grayish uh, underpainting. This is just like a another shade of gray, but it's more on leaning towards the purpley side. And it looks nice with the red. Coming along just on the edge here to add some shadows. And I think we're only, what, about seven minutes in right now and look what we've been able to accomplish already. I'm gonna scumble side to side. right off the edge of the canvas here. Adding a, a little bit of depth and shadow. All these highlights and shadows and colors play off of one another to help you achieve that really pretty uh, glow that you, that you want to get out of a a sunset you know it's just all about getting those nice complementary colors together and you could use um, uh, more of a purple color if you wanted brighter or darker and of course you can just stick with uh, you could do gray if you don't have any of the other colors okay I'm gonna start coming in now and working up For my clouds. I don't want to have too, too much paint in my brush. So just little soft scumbles and wiggles. I'm going to push a little bit harder towards the top. And then we're going to go over slightly and the, the white is still a little bit wet but that's going to look nice in the background here. We're going to get a, a nice little bit of a bonus highlight and soft haze going back there that works. I'm going to pick up a little bit more red this time. Just incorporate a little bit of that in here. I'm going to get rid of that line of the sun and go over top with my cloud just by adding another layer blue, black, and red. And then we can add a few little loose clouds over here. And then a bigger one that comes out. And then you can also just pull for some streaky looking clouds. So they don't all have to be kind of bumpy like this. I'm going to take a little bit of white 
and because, and I always say this, the acrylic paint dries a little bit darker. I'm gonna balance it out and give it a, a smoky look by adding just a little bit of white in there. I'm gonna start working on some larger ones here. Now at this point you might, you could switch over to a bigger brush, but because I'm too excited and impatient, I'll take a little bit longer and use this smaller brush. I don't want to cover up completely the whole background, right? Because I want to have little bits of the color of the, the background showing through. But when I get up here at the very top of the canvas, I'm going to cover up more. And I'm going to use a little bit more blue as I get up to the top. I've got a little bit of that existing purpley color with a little bit more red in it still. See, I'm going over here, always picking up a little bit of it. And this is just a basic scumble. Oh, got a little bit of white in there. Happy little accent, looks pretty. Nice to change up your colors and tones by adding a little bit of white here and there sometimes. So I'm glad I did that. And overlapping is good as well. I like this so far and I think I'm ready to add a bit more white right inside. I'm going to wash all that paint out, make sure my brush is nice and clean and there's nothing interfering with the white that I want to add now here in the, in the center. So I'm going to leave some of that buttery, soft, pretty buttery yellow there and I'm just going to make the sun pop in the center. And then gradually I apply most of the paint in the middle here where I want it to be the brightest. And then it naturally just works itself out and kind of disappears into that soft yellow. I'm going to add a little bit down here, make sure they match. And when I, once I add the mermaid, depending on how much of this I cover up, I might come back, I might have to come back here and add a little bit more. There, that's nice and bright. And now what I want to do is take a little bit of my yellow and my red and I'm just going to faintly, faintly go over the base of my sun here and make that stand out a little bit more. I'm just about ready to start coming in with her figure, the mermaid, of course. Um, but what I want to do is add just an, a, a little bit more of those soft sunset colors, kind of just sneaking in here around some of these clouds. This will help to tie all the colors in together. 
my brush is fairly dry. And I'm just loosely scumbling an outline around some of them. Then I'm going to go in with a little bit more red and blue. I don't want to have too much paint on my brush. And very carefully just inside some of these, some of the areas here. Make them a little bit darker. And I'll just erase this up this far so you guys can see what's going on on the top of the canvas. So again, blue, a little bit of red. Come in with more of that blue and red same cloud color and add some shadows more red now just to bring this together because it was just white yellow and then the bluey purple Put more yellow So a little hint of yellow, a little touch of yellow here and there goes a really long way. Get that yellow, white, red. more touches here a little bit more of a plum color our horizon line and some smaller clouds Okay, so now we're ready to come in with a figure and I'm going to stick with this uh, filbert brush it's the right size for me I'm gonna take black and I may as well use this blue and red that's left I know the black's gonna overpower that but it's kind of nice to tint your change the hue of your black up a little bit So she's laying down here and her tail comes up here over part of the sun. So we could come in with, uh, we'll start on the bottom here and we'll come in with her, her one arm that's resting down here. I've got her wrist and her arm and this is just in silhouette today, guys. Don't worry. When you're working in silhouette, you can get away with a little bit more um, imperfections forgiving okay and then her tail is gonna come up here and then it gets a little bit wider as we go down and then over 
and we'll fill that in. Now if you feel like you've made your tail a little bit too thick, like I have, don't worry. You can come push some of that paint off with a little bit of water. Just wash your brush off and get that excess paint out each time you do that. Okay, so that's a little bit more even now and then there's a shadow from her body here down so we can just pull those dark colors out and then her shoulder here so it kind of goes in like a V right in here her waist up to her shoulder area and her arms coming down here from her shoulder a little bit wider right there I'm gonna balance this out even this out a little bit her wrist is gonna go in a little bit So we'll take a little bit of that off and then we'll make this wider right here. That dips in a little bit right there for her elbow, right? And her forearm. Got a little shadow right along the bottom here. And we'll do the top of her head. We'll give her some wispy hair. So she's, we can't see her face, right? It's all in silhouette, so I don't even know. I think she's looking out towards the sunset, that's right, with how her shoulder is here, I can tell. I've just reloaded a little bit more of my black. I'm just going to go over this so that we don't, she's not see through. <laughs> Might take a few coats. And 
And now we can work on her tail. So we'll just do a U like that. Make it sort of fan out. I'm just going to bring this in a little bit and I can carefully work that paint. I'm going to bring it over slightly, so I'm pushing it this way. And I think this painting is pretty much done. Just clean this little area up where I had a little bit of black in there. Now you could leave it like this if you wanted, but I just want to do a tiny bit more to the top of the sky and give her a little bit of a bigger hip right here. And I have a little bit more shadow right down here along the bottom. So for the top, this is going to make the sun stand out a little bit more too. I'm just going to get a little bit more of that blue, black, no red this time. I'm going to turn my hand, and I don't have um, any water on my brush, so I just got it a little bit damp. I'm going to apply the paint right on the frame of the canvas, the outer edge here, so it's the darkest part. And I've got most of the paint on there, so now I can scumble through these little soft circles. 
Oh, I actually need a little bit more. Just add a little bit more dots here. Now all I did was add just a tiny bit of white in there to make a really dark, dark slate, kind of blue slate gray. And I didn't want to go with straight black and blue because I know that the black will overpower once it dries. It'll look uh, completely black and I really don't want that. So I'll just finish adding the final touches to this painting. I'm going to bring this area up a little bit higher right in the right here. I'm just making kind of wiggly lines and bumps. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this one today and that you want to paint along. Don't forget to leave a comment, question below. I'm always happy to connect with you guys and answer your questions. So until next time, in another video, I'll see you all very soon. Bye.